What's going on everybody? Check out my computer. So we got the back panel off. I'm doing lots of uh, mods and editing stuff. But you guys probably came because the title or description or the tags and that is you bought a gaming computer and it can't really play any games. It's lagging. It's horrible. First of all, one, you want to make sure you didn't get a knockoff from a seller that is fake because there's too many out there. Um, this is a CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme. This computer I purchased for 600, uh, no, 650 at the time. This came with the AMD RX 580. Uh, also has the Intel i5 8400 uh, 630 GPU as well. So this is at the time was a really top of the line. Um, now you can get it this one a little cheaper, but then you can get other ones for like 800 to 700. Uh, I'll have reliable links in my description to safe sellers if you guys are interested. But so a big issue why you're having issues if you bought a gaming computer is for one most people put their HDMI cord up in here they plug their monitor up here where the HDMI port is if you bought a gaming computer and if you go down underneath here and there's more ports down here put the monitor plug in down here not up here if you put it up here you're only gonna run off of just your one GPU in the computer because most com gaming computers come with Intel and then they come with uh, Nvidia or AMD GPU as well. If you plug it in here, you're plugging your monitor into your motherboard. It's your monitor is going to work, but then it's going to only use your Intel GPU, which is not as good as your other GPU. That's why it's a gaming computer. So plug it in down here, guys. That is something I get asked all the time. Hey, what's wrong? I bought this computer. And now I can't even play Grand Theft Auto or even Far Cry the original game. It's too slow. Everything's horrible. First of all, I asked them, okay, send me a picture of the back. Because when you ask people where do they have their um, monitor plugged in at, they say, oh, I got it in the right spot. It's at the GPU and this and that. So I just asked them to send me a picture. And 9 out of 10 times, they got it plugged in up here. And that is the problem. So if you plug it down in here, guys. If that's not the case, maybe your GPU is loose or not connected right. If that's not the case, then maybe you don't have enough power supply. Maybe your power supply is too low. If it's too low, then it can't send enough power to both of your GPUs. Or maybe you accidentally messed with something on the settings. Or maybe your driver is not updated enough. To go into more, if you got any questions, just leave a comment and we can help you out even more. But the biggest thing is probably going to be is you guys have it plugged in the wrong spot. Um, so right now, got the back cover off. We got two cooling fans in there, one cooling fan here. Then we got the standard fans that are in. Um, we're working on putting a SSD drive in here as well as putting a fan control speed switch. So that means I'll be able to control all my fans' speeds. That way, if I want, if I'm not gaming, I don't want my fans on maximum speed. It's just pointless. Then we got all some other setups here. So this is my setup: gaming monitor here, some switches back in here. If you guys are interested in learning all kinds of different tech stuff, like if you want to have three computers to one monitor or two computers hooked up to one mouse and one keyboard um, one printer you know this is called a re raspberry pi this has a hundred thousand plus games on here we got that hooked up so if you guys are interested in anything leave comments leave questions for whatever if your internet is slow if you can't get a good signal in your house because you're not close enough to your uh, to your router box and the signal's crappy, let me know, guys. I can help you out there. So I'm not one of these YouTubers that ignores everybody. If you leave a comment, I'm going to try and help you out to the best of my knowledge and as quick as I possibly can. So take care, guys.